Now we are recording. Hello, I'm Heather. Okay, say that one more time. Now, what is Cam Choice to your first question? It's webcam software. It becomes your camera of choice under settings in the classroom. So right now, when you go in the classroom, you pick your internal camera that's already built into your laptop or your um, desktop, but or an external camera, like I have a C920, a Logitech. So if you have something extra, that's what you click now. But the next time you go into the settings in the classroom, you're going to choose Camp Twist, is what I was going to say. I can't show you the settings because uh, the IP kid won't let you play around anymore, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right, so it allows you to share exactly what is on your screen with your students. So when you open Google Slides in browser windows, you can just beam them right through your video feed. No more holding anything up. Okay. So why Cam Twist specifically? It's free. So you have nothing to lose generally <laughs> by trying it out. There's other options. There's ManyCam, which is very popular with among Windows users especially. Uh, it has a lot of bells and whistles. It's, it's a beefier program. So a lot of people um, have a hard time with it because their computer doesn't have enough oomph to run it alongside the VIP Kid Teach app. Uh, some people have reported that it kind of doesn't play well with Macs. That might have been the case in the past. It might not be the case now as things have updated and things like that. I'm not sure, but I don't know, child. I was like struggling with bookings, and so I was all about some free. Yeah, free. So, it, and it's optimized for Mac. It was made by someone for Mac specifically. No other kind of computer can use it, so it works pretty well. You're hands-free. You're not holding anything up, you know, juggling, pushing buttons, and doing all sorts of things, making things sure things are charged, all that stuff that kind of comes with mobile devices. Um, I feel like it gives a really seamless transition with Google Slides. Just as you're talking effortlessly, you never break eye contact with the student. You could just click a hot key or click a button, and everything is right there. Um, very easily. And there's some cool classroom effects. I'm not going to get into that quite as much today. Um, I will show you a couple things at the end, but this is really mainly how to integrate Google Slides with Cam Twist to get you up and running within 30 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes easy, and you could use it for your very next class. Okay. So, and as always with our group, we extend, engage, and empower. Every time we show a slide, it's for a purpose. It's to extend with our students, to engage them in some way. And I love on the back end, it gives teachers so much power and control and feeling prepared always, no matter what, they've got something that applies to their lesson um, immediately. So now I'll show you my little video clip of myself and show you what Cantos is kind of like in the classroom. Let's see if I can make this full screen and I hope you can hear it. Let's see. Da -da -da. Da -da. Okay.
Okay, well, yeah. So that's about how it goes. Um, it's a big, it's, we party a lot in my, in my classes. <laughs> that last um, child, Peter, the first time he ever beat me, I think um, that's when I kind of hooked him. <laughs> and I've been teaching him for a year now. So, okay, let's get going. Are there any questions before I get started? I think we're gonna start getting into the nitty gritty of everything, okay? Um, first, what do you need to run Cam Twist? Uh, you need a Mac computer or laptop. It will not run on a Windows-based computer. Um, okay, so full <laughs> that's the first thing. Secondly, you need an i5 processor. Um, you need something that's a little, that can handle a lot going on at once. So I think my processor is like 1.6 gigahertz, which is kind of on the low end. My Mac's a 2015. So anything above like 1.6 gigahertz will, should be fine. You need to be running um, iOS 10.13.6, which is High Sierra or higher. Um, I think I've also seen where 10.112 is also High Sierra, but I mean, the higher the better. If you have 10.11, if you have El Capitan, Yosemite, um, OS X, I mean, Lion, like really old operating systems, um, it will not load. Honestly, it could like have a just a black screen and shut everything down on your computer. I mean, it could be a mess. When you hear horror stories of, oh, I got webcam software on my computer and it died and I had to, you know, restore it and all that sort of thing, um, then, you know, that was why they didn't realize that um, their computer couldn't handle the program. Um, Heather asks, uh, what operating, how do you know what you have? You will go to the Apple sign up in the corner and you're gonna click about this Mac and it should tell you um, exactly what you have. Uh, operating system, all your little mini specs that you need to know. Um, and you need eight gigabytes of RAM or more. Um, that's the minimum. Some people, they can make it work with four gigabytes. I don't know how, <laughs> because I wanna say that so that's actually lower than what VIP Kid recommends just for the Teach app itself. The Teach app, now when we used to work on a, be able to teach on a browser and probably was a little bit better but now that we all have to have this app this app is continuously being up, updated and just becoming stronger and more robust so you have to be able to run that you have to be able to run your webcam software cam Swiss, and you have to be able to run a browser too at the same time and that is a lot of your computer's resources at once you need your processor to be able to handle all that and you need enough like memory available to run it so um, you want to have eight gigabytes of RAM at minimum, okay? Um, so let's see, next, step one. You're gonna go to uh, download at camtwiststudio.com, okay? You're gonna click the little button here, download 3.4.3, that should be it. And when you open it on your, um, in your finder, you're gonna make sure you click the package install. It's gonna like this little box. There's gonna be another box that says manual install. Don't click that click the package box, okay? Once you click that box, this is gonna happen. Ah! Your computer is gonna warn you, stop, stop, mayday, mayday. I can't open this because it's from an unidentified developer. So because Apple is getting no money from this and they don't know if it really works, they will not, you know, you have to manually go into your preferences and make your computer um, download it. So the next thing you're gonna go to is over in, System preferences, the Apple sign, like I said before, click the Apple sign, click open system preferences. And on that first page, it's gonna be, um, you're gonna see security and privacy, which is one of, those, one of those options. And here is where you're gonna hang out. So under general, you're gonna click open anyway. This might actually pop open automatically. Um, sometimes it does that, um, takes you right to it. It might give you an option like do you want to open it anyway and it might take you right to this page without having to go through a lot of other different things. But um, once you get here, click open anyway. Okay. So then the next part, if you are running Catalina, which is the latest operating system, if you, if you just updated your computer, I think Catalina came out about mm, three or four months ago now. It was in the fall. Um, if you have updated your computer since, Catalina now has another layer of security where you have to allow everything. So you have to allow CamTwist to screen record. That is what is gonna give your computer the ability to share your screen 
with your student. So with or with through Camp Twist. So make sure you go to Security and Privacy, that same area again, and click over to Privacy where it's blue. You see, and make sure where it says Scroll down and where it says Screen Recording, click Camp Twist. You'll be good to go. Again, it will likely prompt you. Once you go to start making buttons, it's probably going to prompt you to remind you in case you don't remember to do this. But um, um, if it doesn't prompt you and you're figuring, you can't figure out why you can't see nothing is showing up in your preview, you know, what's on your computer, on your screen, then you need to go back over here to these preferences and set that up. Okay. And we're good to go. Now, after that, you're going to set up your preferences. So let me switch over so you guys can see my whole desktop. You share desktop. Oh, maybe you can already see my whole desktop. Can you guys see my whole desktop all this time? <laughs> so what if I don't have any software update available? Oh, so what, Heather? What is um, what is your system running now? Yosemite. Go to the Apple Store. I want to say, and you can check and see. Um, if you are able to download it. A lot of times it will not automatically do it. If you don't have little prompts to some setting where it has to, it'll tell you. Um, and then if you can't do uh, Catalina, you can, you likely can do High Sierra and you probably can do Mojave too. Yeah, Mojave is fine. Yeah, uh, you don't have to update. You don't have to. Um, but you know, it's always, I will say from a little like, you know, just disclaimer as a, semi-techy person, I guess. Our, our, our general response will always be, always have the latest software on your machine. So I will say I recommend that everyone updates to Catalina, but if you have Mojave right now, there's no big rush to, to run to that if everything else is working fine on your computer. And you will not have to worry about the screen recording part if you're on Mojave. Um, but yeah, Heather, just check. Um, you can message me after too if you want to um, and I can kind of walk you through. I can give you a link to, um, you can actually probably Google uh, Catalina operating system. You know what I mean? You can Google like that and it should take you right to the Apple store and it should try to update it. Do you know what year your computer is? Is it like a, if it's like a 2014 hmm, or 15 or later, you're probably yeah, it's like good to go. 13. Oh, it should be good. Cause I actually had run this on a 20, on 2013 laptop before yes okay, and it was run, so. it was running like i think it was running el capitan when i set it up and yeah it was okay. <laughs> it was old okay. <laughs> yeah I, I so get, um catalina so okay am i okay to still listen to the instructions and absolutely stuff? absolutely so you said you can get you think you can get catalina or you not it's, you're not sure it gave me the option to get it so oh, per, you're sure. good to go yep you're yeah, good so. to go just okay. wait just i would say update first before you try to download this at all right okay. and then you'll be good you'll just do whatever everything i've been telling you okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah no you're fine that's good see and so like i said this was this will this is where you know people don't have any clue because this isn't really said anywhere so if you were to go and try to download it and you try to open it and it's like can't download and it's giving you all these weird errors you're gonna be like what's going on so yeah. now it's gonna be easy peasy Thank all you. right no problem so yeah so you guys can you see my whole screen can you oopsie yes yes no 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 desktop one should be desktop. okay Yes. Okay, good. Thanks. So when you download Cam Twist for the first time, I'm going to minimize this, you're going to see nothing. <laughs> you're going to see nothing because um, likely you need to pick a view. So up here at Cam Twist, if you go all the way over, you're going to click view and studio. So studio is what we're going to use. Okay. First, we need to set up some preferences as well. So click uh, Cam Twist right here. Click Preferences. And I'm going to slide this over here in the middle. It'll open up like this on General. So you want it to say at least 15 FPS. Uh, I think it's frames per second, something like that. It can also say 30. Um, I have done 30. I've done 15. I don't personally notice a difference. So I've just kind of left it at the default. <laughs> and you want your video size to be 640 by 480. That's the size of the camera in the classroom. Nothing else needs to be checked. You can check keep preview on top if you want, but yeah, 
you don't have to. But you want to make sure that nothing else over here on the left is checked. Mirror image, all your writing will be reversed. You don't want that. Uh, quick time component, I don't know, but it, it breaks things. So don't click anything else <laughs> and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we can close out that window. And like I said, you're going to go up to view and choose studio. There are this is where I'll stop and also say there are many, many ways to use Cam Twist. I want to say I know of at least three. You can plug in an iPad. You can use the confined to application window method, which uses the big main window. You might have seen it if you've looked at other, other tutorials where you see all this. That's another option too. Um, what we're teaching you today is what myself, Megan, Dinah um, and Beth use, all the admin team use the way we'd use it. So if you want quick help specifically with Google Slides and you use this method, you can get help in our group directly. Um, if you prefer a different method, um, you can go to the Cam Twist support group, which is a pretty big group. You should probably join that group anyway, just for good practice. They've got some good troubleshooting tips too. But uh, the, the most popular method there is a little bit different. So, um, you know, just to avoid confusion, just so you know that there's a diff, there's going to be a difference. So whenever I talk with someone about Cam Twist, I always ask, how are you using it? Because it's really, it's really different. Okay, so this is the studio method. It's the most like many Cam, I think, out there. What you're going to be telling Cam Twist to do is to remember an area of your screen that you want it to show. Okay, so when you first open it, it's going to be black. You won't have, these are all my buttons. You won't have any buttons. They'll be just empty like this. So the first thing you want to do is set up your webcam button. So you're going to click new button right here. It's going to go green and it's going to say untitled. So we're going to right click on it and edit that button. This little teeny tiny window comes up. Move it over here so you can see better. And you can call it, uh, webcam or or me you know something like that just it's just you you're just teaching just you okay you're gonna hit the plus sign because we want to add some effects to this button Come over here click webcam and click add all right you can close this box the boxes like to stack on top of each other it gets confusing so whenever you're done with something close it okay so now we've got your webcam hooked up and you want to tell it which camera so if you have a uh, another camera external camera you can click that one so I have my my C920 so I click that one okay and that button is done okay and you can close that box now whoa what happened right I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking you guys probably might not have this issue because you don't have a ton of buttons but what happens as you add buttons they always go to the very end of the list which is a hair frustrating but that's what they do so um, you can click that Ta -da, here I am right now a good way to remember what this button is because you're gonna be making more buttons maybe you're gonna hit right click again and you can hit snapshot and click so now when you scroll through, you'll see the picture and it's easier to find and click what you want. Okay, so that's step number one. You have your webcam, now you can teach. When it's on this side right here, this green side, this is the preview side. Your student cannot see anything that's on this side. The way you get your student to see something is to kick it over to the program side. And the way you do that is by clicking cut. Okay, so there's some other options for transitioning back and forth, but we'll go over that later. So the next one you want is your Google Slides window. So first, let's set our window up. Let's bring this down here. Now, most of you probably know, uh, use uh, Cam Twist. Yeah, not Cam Twist. Slidekick, right? Slidekick. Okay. And do we have any planner users too? Planner users? Holla, holla. Put your hands up. <laughs> Uh, the, the quickest way to just grab something is to use Slidekick. So um, I use it on my desktop. Ah, Lori, yes. I use it on, <laughs> I use it on my desktop um, for this as well. And it's exactly like your phone. So you just, it looks the same. It still looks like a phone. It's the same. So you're going to go to rewards. Ta -da, you'll grab something. Wow, 7,000. Okay. Grab something. And you're going to click open link. Okay. It's going to pop open into a new a new browser window. 
So what you're going to see, if you've always used your phone, you're going to be like, well, what's this? Ooh, this is not usable. This is edit mode. Okay. When you open a, a file on a desktop or even with the share button, it's always in edit mode. So this is helpful for when you want to make a copy of something because we're always telling people to make their own copies of really popular files. You would go down here, you'd make a copy and put it on your drive. You have your own. Okay. But for as far as teaching, this isn't really usable because the animations don't work. So nothing, you know, nothing's going to fly in or anything like that. I mean, GIFs will work, but otherwise it won't work. So what you're going to do is highlight everything after this last backslash where it starts with edit. You're going to delete that and type preview. Okay. Preview is my favorite mode. I won't even talk about presenter view because you know, you need help with it, Nikki? I can help you with that too. We can chat later. <laughs> um, I, I love preview mode because you can make your window so small and everything still fits really nicely. You don't have a, a bar popping up in the way. It's just easy breezy. Okay. So what you're going to do now is choose an area of your screen that you want to put your reward in. So I've chosen over here where Dino's hanging out. That's my, that's my reward area. Um, actually, mine when I teach on the other side, but <laughs> um, I'm using it this side for teaching today. So what you're going to do is grab this, just grab it, and you can drag it right over to this window that you want to use it in. Ta -da, right? Okay, so you got a reward. Now, what if you want to do a prop? Exact same thing. Go to lessons, just, you know, Colors. Let's grab. I love the color lessons. They're so the props are just gorgeous. Uh, shout out to Beth Pender. Okay, and same thing. Erase everything after that last backslash. Make it say preview. Hit enter. And now you've got some props too. Same thing. Drag it over there. Okay. All right. So. As I'm teaching, all I have to do is say, oh, how wow, about wow, choose a number? Chooses a number. We're doing it. We're having fun. Great. I change back to my webcam and switch over to props. And as I'm teaching, I'm just clicking through. And oh, the dog is white. Oh, I wanted to say that. So I just show that and just keep going like that. So I don't have to have multiple windows open. You know, some people do like to have their um, props or um, in edit mode because they want to see all the slides on the side so they can really pick and choose. And that's fine, too. You would just have to set up another button, another capture area and have another window for things in that mode because the, the where it's going to be where the area it captures is going to be in the middle instead of, you know, on the side. So we're ready to go. So now we got to tell Cam Twist that that's what we wanted to see. If you're a planner user, like I said um, before, you would be on your planner tab and, oh, huh, hold on, planner tab, let me start. I have nothing on this. You can, um, what is the window I'm dragging these to? All I did was just decide, you know what, I want to have this area over here be, be my reward section. I'm telling Cam Twist what section of my screen I want to show. So I need to kind of just dedicate something to that. So I just opened up a window in a general size that I um, think, is, think is cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a window. I use Opera, by the way. Also, a little plug for that. Um, Opera is a very light browser. So especially if you have lower amount of gig like I do, I have eight. So I want to always, and my processor isn't the greatest. So I keep uh, my computer running light. I don't have any programs running in the background when I teach. And I use Opera, which is much lighter than Chrome. Chrome really slowed my computer down a lot to where I could only have like two windows open. I mean, it was just, it's really slow. <laughs> so, um, okay. So if you're a planner user, great thing about it too, you can choose for things to automatically open in preview mode. So you don't have to mess with changing the URLs. So I just always pick right off my planner, open it up, drag it over as I'm teaching. Um, so I only have to open up two files at a time every class. Okay, it's really it takes 30 seconds to do in between classes. Okay, so now that's good. We've got what we want to show ready to go. Let's head back over to our studio window and make a new button. So once again, click new button. 
and it should pop up green over here. Yep. I'm gonna right click on it, edit. Okay. I don't know why it like opens way over yonder. So first, <clears throat> we're gonna also add our webcam again, but this time it's a little different. I'm gonna call this Google Slides. How about that? Google Slides. Hit, get out of that. Hit plus. Do, do, do. Now, instead of grabbing our webcam first, we're going to grab our desktop first. And we're going to hit, uh, let's see, desktop plus, okay? Desktop plus, da da, and add. Oh, so now you can see everything on my screen. <laughs> we do not want Bow Bow to see everything on our screen. So we're going to uncheck the button that says full screen. Take that out, okay? Well, it got a little better, but still, we don't want to show all of that. So what we're going to do is make sure that resizable selection is checked. And we're going to select capture area. And what will happen is this box will come up. Doo -doo -doo. And see, as I move this, what's in my preview is now where, whatever is in this box. This is called my capture area. So I am just moving it around. So what do I want to capture? this reward right so I'm gonna hop this over here you can cheat these like this to adjust the size up and down, da -da, up and down. now you could do it like this ah, clicked on it <laughs> you could do it like this and just pick that and that's fine but the problem is you see in my preview I've got black on the top and the bottom of the reward well, that's because Google Slides has a different ratio than the classroom does. So it's, it's skinnier and wider. Well, to mitigate that, we kind of figured we can, well, we can use that space to our advantage and stick ourselves there. So that way we are always on the screen. So you can cheat up like this, give it some more room. And so let's see, make this a little bigger. And so that way it's all the way to the bottom or conversely, you can make it so it's all the way to the top. I have myself sitting on the top. I mean, on the bottom now, but for a while I was on the top. So we'll go back on the top here. Let's see, I can make my window. So you just make your window a little bit, adjust it as you need to, to get it to, I just keep clicking that though. Okay, so that's pretty good. Once you got it, you know, to where you, to where you like it, do like that. Okay, and then you click, if anything ever goes away, just click the canvas block. <laughs> Hit done selecting. So now it's got that saved. Okay, so now we need to add ourselves into the same button because I want to see myself at the same time. So hit plus here. You're going to hit webcam, but instead of adding it directly, because I don't want my whole self over top of it, I want to be a small picture. You're going to click picture in picture, which is P I P PIP. So hit that. Now, oh, got a box there. Got to fix some settings here. So head back over here. You can close this window out, actually. And click PIP webcam. Click webcam settings. Now I want to tell it what camera I want to use. I want to use my, um, my external camera. Hit over to PIP settings. This is where you can change how big you are. So I'm going to make myself about... 0.6 is kind of a good, kind of a good general size-ish, yeah. And I can use this little black box right here to move myself around. So if I'm right over here on top of Ultraman, like so. You can scroll down here and crop, left, crop, top. I crop, I'm going to crop some of the bottom off. You really just need to see my face, you know, you don't need to see all my, all my hands. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. I think I'm pretty centered. You, know. you can hit this nudge button if you want to just move just a tiny bit. If you're, you know, a little heavy handed with the mouse, you can click nudge and go up and down really tiny increments. Okay, it's good. Close that. So now when you're ready to teach, you have your, let's see, webcam button here and you have your Google Slides button. So oh, anything that's in your preview on this side is not showing. It's ready to be shown. So I'm teaching, I'm talking, and then I want to show my reward. Okay, choose a number, right? I hit cut, okay? There's different ways you can cut. Over here in this menu, you'll see dissolve, which goes like kind of a 
flowy way like that. There's a few more effects you can play around with down here. If you click this little menu up and down right there, you can do like flash where it's like really <laughs> exciting. Um, there's page curl, uh, hit cut, and there's just, I mean, there's a bunch of things, dip, you know, so I like dissolve. It's really, it's nice and smooth. And you can set the time for how long it, how long it transitions. So I have mine at 0.6. If you had it at three, well, and you hit dissolve, it would take three seconds for it to, you know, fully change over. So you can put it wherever you like. Okay, so I've got Google Slides and I've got me and that is it, everybody. <laughs> the end, you are ready to teach. When you go to uh, the classroom, you can choose Cam Twist as your camera and that's it. Are there any questions? <laughs> I had a question. Can you hear me? Yep, we're going right in. Yeah. Um, so I a long time ago I tried um, using Manicam before mm -hmm. Canvas was like a big thing. Yeah. And it kept messing up everything on my screen, messed mm -hmm. up a lot of my my classroom, and so I mm -hmm. immediately went off, you know, to take it off my computer because obviously yeah. I wasn't too afraid of interfering with my classes. Yeah. It took me, I can't tell you how many hours to go deeply into my computer to find mm -hmm. every file that had somehow fragmented because of, of Manicam. Wow. So I put off doing Cam Twist because mm -hmm. I thought, you know, if this messes things up again, even mm -hmm. though I meet all the requirements, mm -hmm. that was hours. I, yeah, I, was, I yeah. was going deep and deep and deep and I'd find even more and more that was associated with Manicam. I, I mean, it was, it was exploded all yeah, over my house. Yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah, and I mean, I've heard that kind of idea before that like webcam software almost acts like a virus and attaches to your yes. computer like really tight, right? It does. I, I have completely uninstalled Cam Twist before pretty easily. There was somebody posted a video um, where all you have to do is dig in a little bit deeper after you uninstall and take out a, one specific plugin. And then it is really gone. It is just a couple, a couple clicks into okay. some folders. And okay. it's... It's as far as I could tell, it was really gone from my computer. I open, you know, I open up FaceTime, it wouldn't just appear. You know how it went still there? Like if you open up another um, thing that needs your camera, and then all of a sudden you see a mini cam screen, like where did it come from? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's, 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 it's easier to uh, get rid of. Yeah, I've not heard that with anyone. Um, not ever being able to fully get it off if you just um i can link that video if you ever need that but um, okay it's pretty easy yeah <laughs> um but i mean it's so we'll get into that so i'll go ahead and move over to um troubleshooting if no one else has questions um i'll say if you you see i have more buttons right so there's more that cam quiz can do what i have done is i've added another capture area for my welcome screen so um well, and while the kids are waiting, they'll see these type of things, little GIFs, uh, and I just have a ton of them that I've saved. You can also do a static picture um, like that um, with an image overlay, um, which I'm not going to get into today, but, <laughs> but, you know, it's the exact same process. You're selecting Desktop Plus, you're making a, you're selecting, well, this one, it doesn't have a, um, a PIP webcam, it's just desktop plus, and it's just showing that screen and that's it. Um, once you get more buttons, right now you only have one, so or two rather to switch from, so you can just keep clicking cut all the time. Um, but if you add some more, um, for instance, I have another one for um, when I am, not that, when I am showing something that's uh, an edit mode reward, you hear a lot of people talk about uh, memory games and tic-tac-toe, right? Um, you have to keep it in edit mode. So you can see that I have all the slides on the side, but they're out of view. So I had to make another area, capture area, just for that middle part to, um, to play tic-tac-toe with kids. So <clears throat> that's another capture. So I have another button for that. Um, what else? Oh, I have another button. I just used it last week for the VIP kid PPT. So when the kid says that they cannot hear or see, or see the slides, the actual lesson slides, I can show them the lesson through my, <laughs> through Cam Twist. So, and I have myself on top of that in my little corner. So it's a great, 
which is amazing. Um, and let's see, I have one for pick ones uh, that I made that's a little bit different where I'm in the middle and they can, I can do this number. But generally, I just hang right here in, right in, uh, with just Google Slides. And oh, that's mine, which is on the other side. So I got to find that one. There it is. <laughs> um, with, uh, with that. Okay. So um, my screen, I'll show you what my screen normally looks like. Not that I cannot seem to pick the right, the right windows here. This guy, not that guy. Teacher, okay, be good. Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, right? We go here. So I've done all our buttons. So when it's time to teach, oh, let me say this first too. When it's time to teach, you're for the very first time you use Cam Twist. Shut down your computer and restart it. Okay. Open Cam Twist first before you open anything else on your computer. Cam Twist needs to have control of your camera before anything else does. So if you happen to have the, if you already have it on and you just wanna go for it, well, if the, if the teaching app is already open and then you go to open Cam Twist, you could have some issues. So just start fresh from scratch, open Cam Twist first, then open the, the VIP Kid Teach app and pick um, your camera. Um, so yeah. This is what my screen looks like on my 13 inch MacBook when I travel. So um, the, the issue, not the issue, but the way Studio works with resizable selection like we're doing, you cannot <coughs> have anything overlapping. So because like I like you'll see if I, you know, move this up here and it's all in, see, uh, yeah, it's in my capture area, right? And we don't wanna see that. So you have to make sure that nothing is overlapping. So if you have a small screen like I, like I travel with, um, that's why I love preview, because I can make that window really small and I can stack props and rewards in the same window. And then I'll have my planner just behind the classroom. So in between, I just, it just pops up forward. I get my next, my next files and pop it right back. And I would use um, hotkeys. So I'm going to uh, link you guys to Megan's hotkey video at, at the end of this. It's a great like kind of next step for if you really just don't want to see the Cam Twist Studio window at all. All I need to see is a little tiny lip of it so I can activate it and then I can do all my switching between buttons with my um, keyboard just like I hit command x or command t and just like change it over seamlessly that way so it frees up some space on your screen but otherwise I use a, I teach on a 21 inch iMac so I have plenty of room to put whatever I want so um, um, and I kind of keep my teaching app centered under my webcam so it's easier to look into the camera okay um, next thing so like I said with troubleshooting if you would see any of this you see a black screen, you see a rainbow screen. You just, something is just not connected. Your, your headphones all of a sudden don't work. I mean, it's been, there's some random stuff <laughs> that you know happens when you change up settings. Restart your computer, open Cam Twist first, make sure that whenever you installed it, you did the package install. Um, and if all else fails, um, uninstall and reinstall. It doesn't really delete anything specifically, but it just kind of starts fresh. Sometimes um, you might, <coughs> I don't know, just random things happen. It's, it's, it's kind of like a beta version of program. It's not super, super stout. And um, so sometimes it can be a little testy and you just have to uninstall, reinstall and just trigger it back to get it going again. And um, if none of, those ish, none of those things work, come ask in the group, <laughs> we'll hook you up. Okay, um, and the other thing that sometimes happens, well, you're in the classroom and they switch lines on you, the fireman switches lines, and all of a sudden now you have these black bars on the top and the bottom of your webcam, and which isn't terrible, you know, in some cases, but in my case specifically, because I have this very, this very fabulous backdrop paper that I'm working with, and I don't want them to see all the rest of my room. <laughs> it's a big mess. So, what you need to do is go back over to preferences and click video devices as you see here and just toggle where you already have it set at 640 by 480 but just pick a different one for a second and then go back to 640 and it kind of just um, jogs it a little bit resets it again and it should pop back to normal you might even have to close cam twist and open it back up again real quick for it to really take effect but um that should be um that should be all you have to do if that happens. But yeah, it's really only when sometimes if there's IT issues and they switch the lines on me and then everything just gets kind of weird. So 
Um, but I've been using this for uh, a year and a half now, and I've only ever had that happen maybe twice, maybe three times max. So, yeah. Or that's also uh, that also works too if you notice lag, um, is to just jo um, jag this a little bit. Um, okay. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. That was a lot of information. I hope I didn't go too fast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, Cam Twist is very easy to use. I have never, like I said, I've, I've used my phone one time when I went camping. And so um, I just really was determined to get this working. So um, it, 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 can be, it can be done, it can be done. And now I prefer, and I can't imagine, you know, not doing it this way now. It gives you so much freedom to TPR and do all the things that you need to do. So, all right, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Any questions? We're coming up. Oh, 45 minutes. We are good to go. You are welcome to ask a question or have me repeat something. I am happy to do it. Um, can I just get a, yeah. I'm sorry. Can I just get um, this window that you said, you said, so basically you're opening Opera absolutely or chrome so like if you had chrome already so i mean just check it out like this imagine i just close this window yes close the window so this is my screen when i just start up yes so if i just hit new um new it's gonna go a little slower because zoom slows my computer down okay new window just open a new, brand new window and it could be anything and you're just deciding okay i think i want my rewards over here or over there you know you just pick where you want it to be and just how much room you want it to take considering where you want the, the app to sit so I'd probably open up the teaching app just put it where you kind of want it and then just make a window fit an, a small area and then decide that that's the window that you want to use to put um, your rewards in and okay. just open things that way yeah yeah it's totally up to you where you want to put it it can be at the bottom some people put, I mean it's totally up to you you're just telling cam twist what part of your screen you want it to show okay yeah it obviously gets easier when you do it probably oh definitely i mean it sounds like really <laughs> it sounds really complicated i mean but i just you know i just open up let me see i just typed ultraman and my my drive already has a eh, all the things saved and so um yes heather you can rewatch this i am recording this and i will upload it hopefully this afternoon and I can try to get the link posted in the event page and then it'll eventually be um, linked in the slide guide too in the next few days hopefully I'm trying not to make it take too long but this particular zoom is the first time I've covered troubleshooting at the end so I want to make sure that I put that um, in there just in case because those are the main things that we have to deal with is that rainbow screen or random black bars and just making sure you open cam twist first and you shouldn't you shouldn't have any problems at all. Um, oh, let's see, there was something I just meant to I meant to say, and I've lost it. <sighs> it's gone. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? See, I'm gonna put this in preview mode again. Show you what that how that works. Well, no, I made it too small. I can't see. There we go. Preview mode. You just move everything off the end, put it in preview, and then that's all you will see now are your controls like that. Okay. If there are any questions, thanks everyone for coming. You are free to message me directly anytime. I'm in the group a lot. <laughs> Um, and uh, there's videos linked in the slide guide. Let me give you guys in the chat box um, Megan's uh, Cam Twist tutorial, which is exactly what I just taught you. And it's in 10 minutes and shorter. And it will uh, get you going. And the video directly after that is the hotkeys video. So after you have a couple of buttons, if you want to make another button. Oh, you keep fumbling between them. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have mine set up to where um, I have one that is to load something into the preview. Uh, is command, well, 
it's command G. So, well, it'll be that. I don't have a problem. <laughs> Let me move this over here so you can see. Ta -da. Okay. So, and myself here, there. Okay. So, I just am talking and talking, and I hit command X. That's my, that's my cut. And then I just, I don't know, I generally just leave it here. So, I'm just always just cutting all the time. Um, if I want to switch to something else, like, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I would. I have one for effects that I'm kind of working on. And see, it's got all this stuff you can do. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing like a cam twist um, advanced zoom for effects and stuff. But um, I would just hit the hit it. I'm not, I'm not sure. I just do it. <laughs> you have to make sure that this window is selected. That's probably the one thing. Um, so I just kind of tend to always just click it, I guess, kind of often. <laughs> I mean, I just click it mindlessly just to make sure it's selected too. Um, yes, you do have to keep hitting it. Yeah, you, if you, um, like if, I, if it's not selected I've, and I'm just doing Command X, nothing happens. It has exclusive access to those buttons. I click the exclusive access. I'll show you guys where it is. Right here is, um, with cam twist is you're going to go to user and edit this menu so when i select what i wanted to do i make sure that um, exclusive access is checked so nothing if i ever type those same keys outside of camp you know while campus is up and nothing else is going to happen unless i select that so that's the only clicking you should have to do is just clicking on this top bar i think there's actually a hot key with mac i, I want to say it's like command option T or something where you can actually switch applications to, but I can never remember what it is. It's just faster to me to just click it. <laughs> um, it will just like cycle through all the open apps you have at the same time. So, um, all right, guys, I will let everyone go. Like I said, um, you've got the video to reference, uh, more of a quick reference for what I talked about. And yeah, like I said, everything will be posted um, in the group in the next couple days. So thanks everybody for coming and uh, I will see you later. You're welcome, Lori. Oh, fingers crossed. It works fine. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye everyone.